Hi guys! 13 months since I had my stem cell transplant and actually yesterday I went to see my well a neurologist every time I have a new neurologist and most of the time they don't know how to deal with me because I'm a very de demanding patient at least what they think um, so uh, I had a couple weeks ago an uh, MRI with, but of course I was very very uh, nervous and anxious about the about the possible uh, activity seen on my um, that my MRI would be showing and I was just shaking and was having these weird symptoms and I of course I wanted the neurologist in the very beginning of the appointment to tell me just the MRI results because nothing else mattered to me luckily my MRI is stable I have no active nor any kind of new activity on my MRI, no new lesions, which is exactly the news any patient wants to hear. Those results were just able to bring such a relief and such a joy for a moment until uh, the neurologist just ruin my day by being just ignorant and very very negative and very irresponsible and just generally an ass so well the of course the the main thing for me and for my near future and long ter term survival after agct is that i have those stable mri results that was the main thing but of course since i'm a very sensitive person and i take uh sometimes i take things bad things any kind of things that people say not necessarily directly to me but in general i take things very easily and i just tend to feel very bad easily about things and just I tend to overanalyze sometimes and it just affects my emotions as well and just brings some brings anxiety and raises my blood pressure so I wasn't very happy after the good news uh, the neurologist just basically raised her hands up and said there's nothing else I can do for you since you had the treatment abroad this treatment that not even the our the local hematologist and the university hospital don't approve since there is no scientific there is no indication medical indication scientific evidence that agct is an effective treatment for autoimmune disease which is total bs i was very angry when i heard that and that coming from a person, a neurologist that doesn't even understand hematology. It was very shocking to hear because, I mean, why then so many countries, so many hematologists all around the world uh, use AGCT to treat MS patients, other, other autoimmune disorders? Why is that happening and people are gaining some serious benefit from such treatment whereas in my country hematologists just totally shut their eyes to the truth and just deny all those scientific res great results from all those medical um, studies that are available for the general even the to the general public on PubMed what is I mean, what was that all about? I got so furious, but um, of course, whenever I get stressed and anxious about something I know is bullshit, I just prefer not to argue because I know it doesn't lead anywhere if you're talking to a person who doesn't understand, who is not educated to understand, who is not willing to understand. So basically, I just shut my mouth and try to stay calm, although it was very difficult to me because I'm a very uh, impulsive person a very um, I don't easily let go if I just feel that I, I am right and I have the right arguments to to win my case so I just basically 
just waiting the the person who is supposedly uh, educated to treat MS patients, but still I feel so wrong that MS patients are treated by neurologists and most of the neurologists treated MS patients, they are just treating MS patients with the conservative medications and they don't even take into consideration that there might be another treatment, even more effective treatment that could be done once and then the patient could lead the rest of her, his or her life without any other medications. And that is something I just totally get. It. Why are we supposed to live and suffer along with medications when we could have at the same time there there is another po a possible alternative alternative treatment to treat such difficult illness such a, as MS. So it just left me so furious and so so. Um, not depressed, not defeated, it was just ridiculous. I mean, time after time, I am surprised by the stupidity and by the, ignorant, by the ignorance and by the lack of empathy of neurologists. I mean, I don't know if I have the like the worst worst luck but it just seems to me that every time it it just keeps getting worse for me and i i i feel that i've been mistreated i've been i mean the doctors don't take any responsibility and of course i said to this doctor that i was treated with agcd with my own money in another country where a doctor truly cares for his patients truly not he doesn't do it for the money because some some facilities some clinics there are thriving by doing these scam treatments and make people pay a lot of money and they just do it for the money and just basically rob people whereas there are real doctors who have a real hard kind-hearted doctors who just truly care for their patients and truly want them to get better and make at the same time make scientific lead scientific medical studies just to develop a treatment sometimes doctors really truly have to think outside the box i mean medical school gives them some fantastic tools and some basic knowledge but after that you have to improvise sometimes you have to think something alternative whatever your patient needs and that is something that it's not happening in my country and i'm so so angry about it i try to stay calm because it's not good for my mental and my ms not for my anything especially now that i consider to be in remission with which i which i'm very happy about but yet I'm not giving up. This is not right. This needs to be fixed in my country universally. In other countries, I know the same problem exists. But that is something when doctors refuse to see the facts and refuse to treat patients, even though there is the scientific evidence backing up the, the efficacy of certain treatment, and they still refuse, that is unquestionable. That is that is something I cannot, my mind just refuses to understand. That is complete madness. And it's so sad because there are so many patients out there who don't have, they don't have the option, they don't have the strength, they don't have the means to fight back. But I won't give up as long as I have some energy left, some, some time and the, all the efforts I can make to wake up all those in ignorant and different doctors who just close their eyes. It's very sad because we live in a world where cause effectiveness is a real thing that is is just being considered in everything, in every industry. And it's really sad because we are, when it comes to treating people and treat uh, people's lives and people's health, it just, 
we just can't work like that. We have to think how everything affects can affect a human being, a human health. And that is something that's not that's just not really happening here. People are just doctors are working for companies, they're working for uh, their employers. They're not working for the people that they're treating. And it's very really sad, I think. But still, I'm very grateful for the great, great life-changing opportunity I had in Moscow. And it just, that is something that can be taken away from me, from my experiences and what I've learned and what I keep learning about the cruel world that it just happens in my home country. The whole culture just makes me sick that is just prevails in the healthcare systems and just all the the attitude that doctors have treating their patients like what what would they do if they had the disease have they ever thought about it because they're just stating these rude facts and they're just just not taking any responsibility i mean i paid for my treatment abroad not everybody is able able to do that and how dare they refuse to treat me there, well, basically, there is nothing we can do if you get worse because you have used all the all the treatments that are out there. So thank you very much for for the for the support for the. I mean, what's the point of special healthcare for chronic illnesses if they're not able to treat and they supposedly have no time? to even take a quick look to see what kind of medical study results are out there and available it doesn't i mean it doesn't you don't have to sacrifice days to see that there are treatments that could help alternative treatments that are not offered by drug companies medical companies but no, they still refuse to do it. And what can I do? I just need to keep fighting back. I, I just need to keep raising awareness in my own country, in my own country. And to just because apparently I am the only patient in my country who has had AGCT for MS. And it is so so frustrating to me because the knowledge is out there why don't people understand mainly doctors don't understand people would do it if they knew but nobody has told them if even hematologists refuse to to see the facts what can i do about it the only thing we can do we have to make our voices heard we have to speak up we have to just defend our own rights to get the best health care we deserve all of us because apparently there is no other health advocate for our own health other than ourselves we have to be our own health advocates i i have told this time after time and i'm so sick of it just telling it because it's the truth and it shouldn't be like that. Why do we have healthcare systems if they don't work? It's just it's so wrong. I know this is a horrible rant and it just and it's mostly for all the doctors who don't see that this is what's happening. This is not right. Young people every day they're all all over the world they are getting an MS diagnosis what will the future be like people are getting disabled at their 20s 30s 40s and doctors aren't doing anything about it except those somewhat few doctors that really give AGCT a chance and really try to treat their patients with an alternative treatment just to make the patient's lives a bit more worthy and a bit more tolerable with the disease. And sometimes the treatment is just works wonders. 
many times and I'm so happy I am stable right now hopefully that will stay and I will just have even more strength and stamina to to push the doctor's opinions and just just raise all the awareness of on the subject and just try to gain some results and make doctors see that things must change so basically yesterday was great but it was also very awful and very eye-opening in a very bad way for me but that was something I was sadly I was anticipating I was it wasn't a surprise to me because I, I knew that there are very few neurologists at, we, at least in my country that accept that there might be something else that they don't know it just makes them at least this doctor that that tried to treat me yesterday but she she just refused to she didn't take any responsibility she was rude and she was not sticking to the facts which really makes me angry because doctors should be a reliable source of information and shouldn't be telling something that isn't true but anyways uh, that was yesterday but the fact is that the situation that prevails, prevails needs to be changed I don't accept this kind of behavior not towards myself not towards any any patient battling serious chronic illness that could be treated in another efficient way so I just want to make world and at least maybe start from the very the only thing I can do in my country is to to speak up speak for my own experiences and just to focus on bringing up bringing out the facts and I really need to I really would like to talk to a hematologist but guess what it's not possible in my country they don't let patients speak to to like specialists that they are not uh, all obliged to see due to uh, specific specific illness so if I would like to speak to a hematologist I would have to basically develop a like a cancer or another uh, very difficult possibly life-threatening disease which obviously nobody wants to not me not anyone so it's I feel it's very very wrong because the stats the facts are out there but still they are arguing that the facts don't exist and they are refusing to recognize the facts that is something that really pushes my buttons and it's 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 it just really makes me think that the doctors are really playing a nasty game I mean that favor I have no respect for so um, yeah that was about it so that that run was totally not for any one of you patients who is following me so I apologize if I was uh, like negative or just I didn't mean to upset anyone my point was to make anyone see if it, it hasn't been um, evident or so yet that um, I'm very upset about the neurologist I haven't had any support of from any neurologist during these six years I've been treated for MS treated first time I was treated for MS was by a hematologist whom I paid and who was not operating in a myeloid which is insane but that's hard in reality that's the sad sad truth and how things are right now but hopefully in the future we I um, communities teams we just need to people who know the truth and want to improve healthcare systems in the future we just need to stick together and need to be loud and be 
be sometimes we have to be fierce and we just have to say and speak up our minds and just speak for the injustice injustice that is happening all the time when people are denied treatment in their home countries and they are they have to like take loans and mortgage their properties just to get the treatment paid abroad to have a future and a better, better quality of life shouldn't be like that but anyways like I said I didn't want to upset anyone it just was something I needed to blurt out because I, yesterday I felt so so bad so like ha had I just I wish I had a punch bag so I could just punch and imagine that the punch bag was a, a neurologist or something that bad it really made me feel to be treated like shit and I'm sorry for my bad language but sometimes you just can't help it I have so much frustration that is totally caused by unnecessary behavior by neurologists if they really had only if they only had done their work correctly and tried to show some empathy towards their patients and understanding and support but no they refuse to learn something new if even if it could be beneficial to the patient but no so we just have to help ourselves once again and this situation continues until we seem see some real attitude change so no offense to you guys who are watching this uh, I thank you very much for taking time to listen to my horrible horrible rant which is unfortunately very true and something I really have gone through so time after time so many times and I just don't know if it's ever gonna end but I'm really trying to fight back and really make it stop because things really seriously need to change but anyways the main thing is that my MRI is stable and the chances are that yours will be too if you have had AGCT for MS and I hope to see you next time bye bye